boys and girls of class 9 and 10 assalamu alaikum i hope you are well though it is going on a very crucial moment because of coronavirus pandemic it is a matter of great sorrow that we were absent from for a long time from uh, now today i am trying to teach you through virtual classroom you certainly know that there are 11 grammatical items in your syllabus transformation is one of them and voices is a part of it so let's try to learn it first of all let's try to know what is voice voice is the form of the verb which indicates what the subject does the word or something has been done to it uh, we know that there are three kinds of voices number one active voice number two passive voice number three quasi passive let's try to know what is active voice when the subject of a sentence is the doer or actor the verb is in active mood let us go to the example example we play football it is an example of active sentence because here the subject is in active mood that is why it is an active voice another example of active voice is that she brings tea here the subject is active that is why it is an example of active voice let us go to the passive voice what is passive voice when the subject of a sentence is acted upon the verb is in passive mood let us go to the example passive voice football is played by us here the verb has been acted by someone that means it is the example of passive voice let us passive voice now let us try to change the active voice into passive we may change the voice of tense depending on a common structure the structure of the voice is like that that common structure of the voice is like that number one object number two auxiliary verb according to the tense auxiliary verb according to the tense Number three, past participle form of verb. Number four, different type of preposition 
has been used in the passive voice such as by, for, in, at, with, etc. Number five. See here that all the voice of the tense should be turned into should be turned into passive voice uh, using this structure. Only you have to change the auxiliary verb. In different tenses, the auxiliary verb, uh, different type of auxiliary verb will be used here. Let us try to change the voice depending this structure. Suppose I am giving an example. They do the work. The symbols of the sentence is that the word, uh, as it is a present infinitive tense, the auxiliary word will be used here and is that. So the word will accept is. The word is. Then uh, past participle form of the verb do be done. The work is done by objective form of subject. Then, then, then. Another example. They. Are 
number three present path vectors present path vectors have been found for has been Number eight, future continuous terms. Future continuous terms. Here the auxiliary part shall be being, will be being, will be used. Passive words will be like that. 
the object will be will come here first unknown as the subject uh, the subject is uh, plural number that is why r is used here but as unknown is a singular number that is why is will be used here as an auxiliary verb unknown is as the sentence is present continuous tense auxiliary verb will be used here is be unknown is be make a past participle form make made made past form and past participle form are the same i don't is be made by them let us try to let us see another example of another tense they did the work active voice passive voice is like that the work was done by them
you obviously have noticed that the adverb often has been used between two verbs. One auxiliary verb, another principal verb. Uh, almost every adverb should be used like this. Let us go to the another rules of passive voice. Let's go to the another example of the voice of tense that is uh, done using another structure. If you see in the sentence, have to has to going to the rule the rule the rule will be different from that I am giving an, giving an example of uh, of a of a sentence using going to example they are going to open a bank passive voice will be like that at first uh, we have to use object here a bank is an object a bank is going to if you find Going to in a sentence, going to must be used, but before that, according to the subject, according to the subject, you have to use the object. As in the previous sentence, subject they, plural number, that is why are has been used. On the other hand, uh, passive voice, in, pass in a passive voice, a bank has been subject and that is a singular number that is why is has been used here so uh, we turn the sentence into passive voice the sentence will, will be like that a bank is going to be you should be remember that here extra d verb will be used i am repeating again that here you must remember that extra d verb will be used so a bank is going to be then first participle form of the verb pen. Then by then object of the subject then. So so. There are many rules that will be discussed later. Students, that is all for today. You must practice from the exercise of your book. See you again. Best of luck.